Farmer Vanessa with the North Texas Food Bank. Welcome to our greenhouse. Today we're potting up our tomatoes. The important thing about selecting the variety of tomato plant is to know how that plant grows. In the tomato world, there's two different types of tomatoes. Determinate tomatoes, which have a determined amount of growth. Those are typically a bush or a patio tomato. Or if you enjoy growing heirloom cultivars, those are most only indeterminate tomatoes. Now indeterminate tomatoes, unlike determinate tomatoes, have an undetermined amount of growth. That means these plants are vining plants, they will grow throughout their entire life cycle so long as the climate supports them. And that means that we have to pot these guys up several times during the germination process so that they stay healthy and happy. So these guys are ready to get potted up and I wanna bring you in close to show you a few of the reasons why we're doing this. As we mentioned, tomatoes, um, these tomatoes have an indeterminate amount of growth so they'll continue to grow and we wanna get these plants to have a huge root system. So the way that you can get a really healthy, compact tomato plant is by burying it up to 90% of its height and when you do that, all of these roots will actually um, develop into soil roots. They'll help the plant have a much larger root system and that so it can better survive our rugged Texas summers. And so I'm going to show you on a smaller tomato, just for demonstration purposes, what that's going to look like. Burying the tomato up to 90%, what we're going to want to do is break off any growth that's going to fall below that soil line. So what you do is just with your thumb, you just pinch off that little stem, which is easily accomplished without gloves, but bear with me. I have found, and there's no wrong way to do this guys, it's just whatever your preference is, but what I found the easiest way to do is to pop out my tomato and get him as bare root as possible. We're going to show you this root system on this guy. Since he's got some good length to him, we can actually turn him just like that. And many farmers will do that. It's called a trench method, where instead of trying to get a larger pot to pot up, you're actually burying them flat. If you're ready to, to plant in the ground, you're burying them flat in a trench. But the easiest way I've found to do that is to just take your empty container, work right alongside your potting soil. I fill it halfway, then I get that little guy in there before turning it over and filling the other half. What that now has done is now we've buried all of those roots that were along the stem into the soil. We want those roots that have just been displaced from their home to have good contact with the soil. So what we're doing is we're just tamping down the soil around it to remove any pockets of air underneath the soil so that those um, roots can get really well and closely established to that soil. This will get watered in. He's gonna hang out in our greenhouse for at least two more weeks until Texas decides what's it's doing with the weather. And then we'll just continue that process over and over until we get um, the climate outside where we can support them. Now, if you wanna see on a smaller sprout what that looks like, this is a sprout that is only about four weeks old. It has only put out its one primary root, but since all of these are still air roots waiting for soil, we're gonna go ahead and bury them so that in about a week's time, this guy will look just like this one. And again, that just looks like filling up half of your container with soil. Since you're burying half the plant, just going ahead, or 90% of the plant, just go ahead and place it in the plant. And then I found just the easiest way is to come back in with your hand. He is in there, there we go. Lift him out gently. We'll tamp that soil down around him and then water him in and he will be ready to start growing big and strong for when we're ready to install him out in our raised beds in the garden. That is all that I've got on how to pot up tomatoes and why. I hope that it's helped and that we see you out in the garden come spring.